Hi, welcome to our lecture on ASP.NET web pages from Eduonix, and I'm Patty Crosswhite. In today's lecture, we're going to take a look at uh, razor syntax, layouts, and folders for uh, web pages. Web pages is one of three programming models for creating ASP.NET websites and web applications. The other two programming models are web forms, which we've covered quite a bit already, and model view controller, MVC, which we'll take a look at in a uh, future lecture. Web pages is the simplest programming model for developing ASP.NET web pages. It provides an easy way to combine HTML, cascading style sheets, JavaScript, and server code. It's easy to learn, understand, and use. It's built around single web pages, supports server scripting for Visual Basic or C Sharp, and web pages is easily extendable with programmable web helpers, including database video, graphics, social networking, and much more. Web pages razor syntax is a markup syntax for adding server-based code to web pages. Razor has the power of traditional ASP.NET markup, but easier to learn and easier to use. Razor is a server-side markup syntax, very similar to classic ASP and PHP. It supports C Sharp and Visual Basic programming languages. Here's an example of adding Razor code. First we have just uh, basic uh, HTML page with um, our header tags, HTML tags, title, body tags, and a header tag. And then in the on the next slide, we'll take a look at uh, in this. Uh, at datetime.now, that's the uh, actual razor code for adding the uh, the date and time, the current date and time from the system. Web page layouts allow you to provide a consistent look and feel. Every page is the same header and footer and the same style and layout. You can do this very efficiently with web pages. You can have reusable blocks of content like headers and footers and separate files. You can also define a consistent layout for all your pages using a layout template file. Many websites have content that is displayed on every page like headers and footers. With web pages, you can use the render page method to import content from separate files. Content block from another file can be imported anywhere in a web page and contain text, markup, and code. Using common headers and footers saves you a lot of work. You don't have to put the same content on every page. This is how it looks in code. You can render the, uh, oops, sorry about that. You can render, use a render page method to put the header file and then your content, header tag and paragraph tag, and then the render page method for the footer file. You can also develop a layout page you saw in the previous section using the same content um, using the uh, render page method. Another approach is creating a consistent uh, look by using a layout page. It contains the structure but not the content of a web page. A web page is linked to a layout page and it will be displayed according to the layout page template. 
layout page is just like a normal web page except for a call to the render body method where the content page will be included. Each content page must start with a layout directive. Here is the layout page. I have your paragraph tag. And then render body which pulls out the pulls in the uh, content for the individual page and then another paragraph tag and inside any web page we can call the layout we can set the layout uh, template for this page and then <coughs> Basically, we'll see, um, from doing this, we'll see, I should just show this on here, but uh, we'll see the, whoops, <laughs> sorry about that. You see that this is header text, and then we'll see our body, which is this, welcome to Eduonics tutorials, and then our this paragraph tag here, learn various current technologies at your own pace, and then we'll see, ah, oh, shoot, 2013 Eduonics tutorials after that. We'll now take a look at the folder structure of a typical uh, website built uh, for web pages have the account folder which contains login and security files the app underscore data folder contains databases and data files the images folder contains images scripts folder contains browser scripts usually in JavaScript but can be other languages as well the shared folder contains common files like layout and style files physical structure for the images folder at the website it says above but when we looked at it the on the previous slide might look like the following on the computer C Patty documents my websites demo images and down here would be the uh, virtual and physical names of an image in that folder, pick 31. The virtual name would be images slash pick31.jpg. The physical name would be that path, C Patty documents my websites, demo images, and then the image file name. You can use the tilde operator uh, to specify. Uh, virtual root um, in the code. If you use the uh, tilde operator, instead of a path, you can move your website to a different folder or location without changing any code. For example, down here, my images folder, tilde slash images, or from my style sheet, tilde styles, stylesheet.css. The server.map path method converts a virtual path to a physical path that the server can understand. Now this virtual path of slash default.cshtml server.map path would convert it to C Patty my websites demo slash default.cshtml. You use this method when you need to open data files located on the server. Data files can only be accessed with a full physical path. Path name, you can say tilde data file txt. The file name would be server.map path path name. And the href method converts a path using the code 
to a path that a browser can understand. The browser can understand the tilde operator. You use the href method to create paths to resources like image files and CSS files. You will often use this method in HTML, in a anchor tag or an image tag or a link tag elements. Like you can see here, my, st my style sheet, tilde, shared, site style sheet.css. And this creates a link to the CSS file href the at sign at the at sign href my style sheet from up here and that's the same as referencing it reference reference excuse me referencing this as shared slash site style sheet dot css the href method is a method of the web page object. And objects we'll go over a little bit more in uh, the next uh, video. And this concludes our uh, coverage of um, Razor layouts and folders and for web pages. And thank you.